Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. I'm going to go over real quick in the uh, homemade rotary face converter series some switch options you have for starting your face converter. Now, I know in my videos, I started it with uh, electrical disconnect. It, as you can see, it works, but that's not a proper way to do it. That was just for demonstration. If you keep using a service disconnect switch like that, you'll get arc burns in it, especially on higher horsepower, higher draw motors. You'll get burns and stuff on them because they're not meant to turn something on and off. They're to break the power so you can safely work on the equipment. So if your phase converter is only up to five horse, you have a lot of options, really reasonably priced. You can get yourself a mag starter just using two of the legs. These you can come by pretty easily in the used market. You can even use these three phase light switches. These are some heavier duty ones. It's a 240 volt, they're ready for seven and a half horse. So you could use those. These are an option. And these are, you can get these cheap on uh, eBay and stuff. I'd recommend getting a name brand one. Here's another smaller one. I don't know if that's going to focus, but this is good for a three horsepower at 220. Of course, have your breakers and stuff before this. This just is the last step before you get to your uh, pony motor or your, your idler motor, I mean. And here's another example of a starter. It's nicer, it's in an enclosure. This one's only rated for three horsepower you'll find you'll be surprised when you move to the you know the higher horsepowers you know how big some of this stuff is you think man that should be able to handle uh you know five or ten horse but no that's stay by what it's rated to then like drum switches we'll have drum switches this one's rated for three horsepower five horsepower remember to use the uh single phase rating because you're only running two legs through there so that gives you a little bit of a safety factor there again i'm not an electrician but i've been making rotary phase converters for 22 years so i always play it safe you know your switches and stuff can be a little oversized do not oversize your breakers make your breakers you know right where they need to be to protect your stuff don't put a you know wire in a one horse motor and put a you know a 100 amp breaker before it that will cause damage before the breaker trips so be mindful of stuff like that so yeah in the uh smaller horsepower ranges you have lots of options i wouldn't recommend using like a light switch i've seen machines with those on them but uh, remember, you're putting a 220 through there. Now, if you're especially if you're using the uh, pony motor method, because the uh, inrush amps aren't, aren't as much, that really helps save the switches too. Now, I'm going to take you over to what I'm going to use for my 15 horse phase converter. So on my uh, 15 horse, because it draws 40 amps full load, so it's not going to draw that idling most of the time especially running my smaller motors i'm going to run it through i'm going to go ahead and use this breaker setup because it's in here and i'll put some smaller fuses in it i'm going to use this mag starter to actually start it that's a 220 mag starter so you run your wires to the top and to the bottom and then the control circuit actually comes off the power side and through a switch so when you activate it it generates a magnetic field and that closes the circuit so that handles all the contacting so that's a good way to do that they, these are expensive uh, big mag starters are expensive you around here at least they're at auctions all the time i mean i paid oh 10 i think 10 bucks for this cabinet 
with the stuff inside of it. So that's good. I bought that cabinet just for my motor. So when you get to bigger motors, you have to, you know, spend more money or find better stuff. Uh, let me go back to the bench and I'll wrap this up. <clears throat> okay, so I hope that helps you guys out. Again, I know I'm kind of the last couple days been beating the subject to death. But I want to make it so someone can watch these videos say, hey, those are some switches he used. There's that and that. You know, they can look at what we what I used here and get those parts. And then I'll take you over here. Your nice tour of the shop floor. There's the blanket when I have my cats in here with me. That's where they sit. You know, the setup is crude, but it I think it well demonstrates what's going on here. And that way it really helps visualize it for someone building their own thing. And of course, if you guys have questions, go ahead and put them in the comments or uh, if it's more in depth, uh, message me and I'll send you my email address and you can, you know, send me longer messages and pictures and stuff through there and I'll help you all I can. Uh, next video won't be t tomorrow, the next day on this stuff, but I'll probably go ahead and show you how I wired it and some suggestions for wiring either through a breaker and stuff like that. So, yep, yeah, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.